I'm back again, brothers and sisters. They ended my life. I'm back again, brothers and sisters. They ended my life. I'm back again, brothers and sisters. They ended my life. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde, coming to you live and direct with a very serious message for the global African family. A very serious message for the global African family. In one hour and 15 minutes from now, in one hour from 15 minutes from now, in one hour and 15 minutes from now, 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central and 6 p.m. Eastern, a black man is about to be executed by the state of Missouri. There is about to be a state sanctioned execution of an innocent black man in the state of Missouri in one hour and 15 minutes. In one hour and 15 minutes. In one hour and 15 minutes, an innocent black man by the name of Marcellus Williams. Marcellus Williams, who was convicted of a murder that he did not commit in 1998. I repeat, Marcellus Williams is about to be executed by the state of Missouri with the full support of the state Supreme Court and the full support of the governor of Missouri. This innocent black man, this innocent black man who was convicted of a crime that he did not commit. There is no physical evidence tying this brother to the crime. There is no physical evidence tying this brother to the crime. There is no physical evidence tying this brother to the crime. A woman was assassinated. She was murdered. I believe it was a Caucasian. Back in 1998, someone broke into her house, her apartment, and she was stabbed 43 times. 43 times. They left the knife in her neck. It was a very egregious crime. Our hearts go out to her family and her community. No one deserves to die like that, whether you be African or not. No one des deserves to die like that, whether you be African or not. And because this white woman was assassinated, murdered in her home, stabbed 43 times, they decided to charge an innocent black man with the crime. They decided to charge an innocent black man with the crime. Marcellus Williams, get on your phone right now. Call the governor of Missouri right now. Call the Missouri Supreme Court right now. My Democratic Party plantation slaves, where is your Kamala Harris right now? My Democratic Party plantation slaves, where is your Kamala Harris right now? My Republican Party plantation slaves, where is your Donald Trump right now? My Republican Party plantation slaves, where is your Donald Trump right now? This black man is going to be executed in one hour. One hour, 5 p.m. Central Time in Missouri, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. For a crime he did not commit. And check this out, brothers and sisters. Check this out, brothers and sisters. Check this out. The original prosecutor, the original prosecutor who led the conviction of Marcellus Williams has now changed his decision. Listen to this. The prosecutor for the county that originally convicted Marcellus Williams of this crime that he did not commit has changed his opinion on the case and is now fighting for this man to be exonerated. Even though the original prosecutor on the case is now fighting for Marcellus Williams, your brother and my brother, Marcellus Williams, to be exonerated. Even though the original prosecutor is fighting for brother Marcellus Williams to be exonerated, the state is saying it's too late. The state is saying we don't care. The state is saying even though the original prosecutor is now convinced of his innocence. This is what the state of Missouri is doing. This is what the Supreme Court of Missouri is doing. This is what the United States government is allowing. Even though the original prosecutor is now convinced of Marcellus Williams' innocence, the state is saying we don't care. We want black blood and we want it today. The Supreme Court of Missouri is saying we don't care. We want black blood and we want it now. The governor of Missouri is saying we don't care. We want black blood and we want it now. Brothers and sisters, there is no physical evidence tying this man to the crime. And check this out. 
Let me go a little deeper for you Africans. The original jury composition that convicted Marcellus Williams of this murder that he did not commit, the original jury composition only had one black person. The governor maintains he was convicted by a jury of his peers. When did Caucasians become the peers of African people? Somebody help me understand. Were they our peers in slavery? Were they our peers during Jim Crow? Were they our peers during Willie Lynch? Were they our peers during the Garvey movement? Were they our peers during civil rights? Were they our peers during the black power movement? When did Caucasians become the peers of African people? Only one black person was on Marcellus Williams's jury. Only one black person was on Marcellus Williams's jury. Only one black person was on Marcellus Williams's jury. And check this out. There were six black people who were excluded for no justifiable reason. There were six black people excluded from Marcellus Williams's trial jury. Six Africans could have served on the trial and exonerated our brother. Six Africans could have served on the jury that could have exonerated our brother and they kicked them off. The state kicked them off the jury and they only left one African and a whole army of Caucasians on that jury. They left one African and a whole army of Caucasians on that jury. This brother is innocent. It gets even deeper than that, Africans. I'm standing up for Marcellus Williams right now. Y'all worrying about everything else. This is what we supposed to be paying attention to. This is what we supposed to be paying attention to. This is what we're supposed to be paying attention to, brothers and sisters. Let's go further. The knife, the weapon used in the crime was tainted. So they couldn't do accurate DNA testing on the weapon. Let me say it again. The weapon was tainted. Someone intentionally or unintentionally sabotaged the DNA on the weapon used in the unaliving. Listen to this nonsense, y'all. The state sabotaged the weapon. It was contaminated with other people's DNA who mishandled the weapon. The state of Missouri mishandled the murder weapon so they could not properly test it to prove that Brother Marcellus Williams's DNA was not on the weapon. And they're blaming him for that. They're saying, oh, well, we're sorry that happened, but there's nothing we can do about it. The governor of Missouri is saying, oh, well, we're sorry that happened, but there's nothing we can do about it. The Supreme Court of Missouri is saying, we're sorry this happened. This is nothing. There's nothing we can do about it. I heard Kamala Harris rally for a stay of execution. I ain't heard Joe Biden rally for a stay of execution. I ain't heard Donald Trump rally for a stay of execution. I ain't hear Senator Vance rally for a stay of execution. We out here crashing out for candidates who don't even care about us. We on these streets crashing out for candidates who don't even care about us. And they about to execute a black man. And for those of you who don't know, the death sentence in this country has always been, always been disproportionately slanted to black people. Disproportionately slanted to black people. How many black people were killed and were innocent? The United States of America doesn't care. My Donald Trump supporters, my Donald Trump supporters, my red party plantation slaves. Didn't Donald Trump execute about four or five brothers right before Joe Biden took his oath of office? Where are my Donald Trump plantation slaves at? Didn't Donald Trump sign the execution warrant for innocent black men a few days before he left the White House? Justice for Marcellus Williams. I hope my Missouri family is outside that prison. I hope you guys are out there 
by the millions. There should be a million man march around the prison where they're going to execute our brother Marcellus Williams at 6 p.m. Eastern time today. We got one hour and five minutes. Kamala Harris, you want the black vote? Pick up the phone and stop the execution right now. Aren't you an attorney, Kamala Harris? Aren't you a former uh, attorney general, Kamala Harris? You love black people so much, you claim to be black. Pick up the phone and stop it right now. Kamala Harris, pick up the phone. Donald Trump, you want the black vote? Donald Trump, you want the black vote? Pick up the phone right now and stop this execution of an innocent black man. One hour and four minutes, brothers and sisters. One hour and four minutes, brothers and sisters. One hour and four minutes. This is one of the reasons they gave you Puff Daddy's case. This is the reason they gave you Sean Puffy Combs to distract you from Marcellus Williams. They gave you Sean Puffy Combs to distract you from the execution of Marcellus Williams. They gave you Sean Puffy Combs to distract you from Kamala Harris's lack of accountability for the black vote. This is chess. This is not checkers. This is chess. This is not checkers. Brothers and sisters, 54% of the people executed on death row in this country have been black. We are only 13 to 17%, but 54% of the people executed in this country have been black. Will Kamala Harris support a moratorium on the death penalty? Will Kamala Harris support a moratorium on the death penalty? Will Donald Trump support a moratorium on the death penalty? Will Donald Trump support a moratorium on the death penalty? That's the question. Black people are overwhelmingly and disproportionately executed because they are poor. And Caucasians love black blood because they are poor. And Caucasians love black blood, brothers and sisters. Are we going to stand up for Marcellus Williams? And how many other black men and women innocent on death row who are going to be executed simply because the power structure does not value black life? Don't turn your head and run away, Africans. Today is Marcellus Williams. Tomorrow, it's your cousin. Today is Marcellus Williams. Tomorrow, it's your grandmother. Today is Marcellus Williams. Tomorrow, it's your husband, your wife, your niece, your cousin. Today, it's Marcellus. Tomorrow, it's your best friend. Queen Mother Fannie Lou Hamer told us, no African is free until every African is free. That's why when I talk, I don't just talk for the American African community who I love and respect because I'm a part of it. I don't just speak for the American African community who I love and respect because I'm a part of it. I speak for all Africans from Angola to Alabama to Ethiopia to East Brooklyn, New York, from Britain to Bahamas, from Haiti to Houston. From Philadelphia to the Philippines, I speak for all African people. From Nigeria to North Dakota, I speak for all African people. It's pan-Africanism a parish. Brothers and sisters, they are about to execute an innocent black man in 60 minutes. At 6 o'clock today, I want y'all to pray. I'm about to get off of this. I'm about to get off of this. But at 6 o'clock tonight, Eastern Time, 5 p.m., Central Standard Time, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you say a prayer for Marcellus Williams. We pray that the Almighty intervenes. We pray that the Almighty intervenes and grants our brother Marcellus Williams, who's scheduled to be executed in 60 minutes by the state of Missouri. We pray that the Almighty intervenes and grants that brother a stay of execution. We pray that the ancestors intervene, that the Loa and the Abusum and the Netaru and the Orisha will intervene and give our brother a stay of execution. But if spirit doesn't save him, if spirit doesn't save our brother, it doesn't mean he's guilty. It means we are guilty. If spirit doesn't save Marcellus Williams, 
It doesn't mean Marcellus Williams is guilty. It means white America is guilty. Black America is guilty because we didn't come to that brother's aid the way we should have come to that brother's aid. Shout out to Brian Stevenson and the Innocence Project. I want to give a special shout out to Brother Brian Stevenson in the Innocence Project because that black man has helped more black people get off death row, I think, than any black attorney in American history. I hope he's not a bunny hopper. I hope Brian Stevenson in the Innocence Project, I pray that brother is not a bunny hopper because he has saved so many black people with the Innocence Project. I don't know if he had a hand in Marcellus Williams. I don't know if he took Marcellus Williams's case. I don't know if he looked at it. I would love to hear from Brian Stevenson, my brother. Did you take a look at this case, Brian Stevenson? Is there a reason why you didn't get involved? I know you busy, brother. You've helped exonerate so many of our family, but I'm just wondering why were you not or if you were in fact involved in trying to save our brother Marcellus Williams? No physical evidence connects him to the crime. Even the prosecuting DA, the prosecuting DA wants him exonerated. Even the prosecuting DA wants him exonerated. Even the prosecuting DA wants him exonerated. And the state of Missouri says no. The state of Missouri says no. We got more things to think about, brothers and sisters. And let me say this. I don't appreciate you YouTube and struggle streamers running around saying that I've been defending Sean Puffy Combs. I do not appreciate you dusty ass YouTube and struggle streamers running around saying I've been defending Sean Puffy Combs. I was not defending Sean Puffy Combs. I was defending the right of black people like Marcellus Williams to get a fair and impartial trial in front of a jury of his peers. That's what I was defending. This is why I was speaking up. This is why I was speaking up. It ain't about Sean Puffy Combs. It's about the right of American Africans to get a fair and impartial trial in front of a jury of their peers in these courts. I was speaking for Marcellus Williams and other black men, women, children and elders who have been unfairly convicted of crimes that they did not commit because of their race. And you're saying he should be convicted even if he's innocent of the crimes. And I'm telling you, don't you ever tell the United States government after all the black people they have executed, after all the black people who were innocent that they convicted. Don't you ever tell the United States government that it's OK to lock up and kill black people because of crimes against the black community. If Sean Puffy Combs is guilty of crimes against the black community, then let us try Sean Puffy Combs in a community tribunal. Let us hold Sean Puffy Combs accountable in a community tribunal. Let us convict Sean Puffy Combs in our own hands, in our own community, under our own people. But don't you ever go to the racist American government. Don't you ever go to the racist criminal injustice system and tell them, even if he's innocent, you can lock him up. Because it's rhetoric like that that's about to take Marcellus Williams' life. That's the kind of rhetoric that is about to take Marcellus Williams' life. That type of ridiculous, irresponsible Negro rhetoric is the exact type of speech that's about to lead to the execution of an innocent black man in 55 minutes in the state of Missouri. He's dying in an hour. I hope Missouri is outside that prison. Get off of YouTube and take your ass to that prison if you in Missouri. Missouri Africans, you got to represent all of us right now. St. Louis, Missouri, Kansas City, Missouri. You got to represent the whole diaspora right now and get up to that prison. Don't you let that brother die not knowing there was people who loved him outside of that prison. I can only imagine what's going through that brother's mind right now. I can only imagine what's going through that brother's mind right now. You think Kamala Harris is worried about him? You think Kamala Harris is worried about him? You think Kamala Harris is worried about Marcellus Williams? Do you think Donald Trump is worried about Marcellus Williams? Do you really think Donald Trump is worrying about Marcellus Williams? Do you think Barack and Michelle Obama are worried about Marcellus Williams? 
Do you think Barack and Michelle Obama are worried about Marcellus Williams? Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey, did you ever consider doing a story on Marcellus Williams? Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey, did you ever consider doing a story on Marcellus Williams? This is what we should be talking about. This is why you can never tell this racist government that even if a man is innocent of federal charges, you can lock him up because we don't like him. If you don't like him, you deal with him. If you don't like them, you deal with them. Stop using Caucasians to do your dirty work. Stop using Caucasians to do your dirty work. I thought slavery was over. I thought slavery was over. I thought slavery was over. Brothers and sisters, my heart is heavy now. My heart is heavy now. Because another innocent black man is about to be executed in these United States of America for a crime he did not commit because he was too poor to pay for the proper defense. All these billionaires we got paying for documentaries, stop paying for documentaries and pay for the defense of some of these innocent black people on death row. Sean Carter, no disrespect. Beyonce, I love you to heaven, no disrespect. Serena Williams, Tiger Woods, Kanye West, Oprah Winfrey, Bob Johnson, LeBron James. Stop paying for documentaries on executed Africans and start paying for some criminal defense for black people on death row. Stop paying for black kids to go to college and start paying for some criminal defense for some of these black people on death row. When are we going to wake up and smell the coffee? When are we going to wake up and smell the coffee? Brothers and sisters, that's all I wanted to say. Marcellus Williams will be executed in 53 minutes. He will be executed. He will be led down a long hallway chamber. He will be led down a long hallway chamber into a place where they have taken the life of so many black people. And you got people like D.L. Hughley, Steve Harvey, Roland Martin crashing out for Kamala. Crashing out for all these black celebrities, crashing out for Kamala and Donald Trump. And neither one of them are doing nothing about an innocent black man who's about to be executed. Brothers and sisters, stand up for Marcellus Williams. Burn a candle for Marcellus Williams. This would be a vigil in every city on the planet Earth for our brother. When one African suffers, we all suffer. When one African suffers, we all suffer. When one African suffer, we all suffer. One day we may have to liberate him with our own hands. We might have to pull a George Jackson Soledad brother whose Earth Day was yesterday. We may have to pull a George Jackson Soledad brother who on August the 21st, 1971, decided to liberate all inmates from that correctional facility. George Jackson Soledad brother, happy solar return yesterday. Happy solar return yesterday. He was martyred helping all the inmates escape from the California Penal Institution. We might have to start liberating our brothers and sisters with our own hands. We might have to start liberating our brothers and sisters with our own hands because I got blood in my eye and you got blood in your eye. Brothers and sisters, the ancestors are not happy with us. The ancestors are not happy with us. The ancestors are not happy with us. We weren't about Puffy and a black man is about to die. We weren't about votes for Kamala, votes for Trump and a black man is about to die. We weren't about Monday night football and a black man is about to die. We weren't about the World Series and a black man is about to die. Brothers and sisters, what are we going to do? Brothers and sisters, get on your phone and Google Marcellus Webbs. Post them all over your social media. Post them all over your social media. Post them all over your social media, brothers and sisters. Freedom for everybody. Freedom for nobody. Abolish the death sentence. Pan-Africanism yesterday. Pan-Africanism today. Pan-Africanism tomorrow. Pan-Africanism 
by any means necessary. Free Marcellus Williams.